the congressional record. Well, there's a group inside working out an important problem. Let's watch them. After working for hours, they've just discovered that a three-lettered word for ostrich is E-M-U, smart men. Here it is, folks, the NRA building, where they practice what they preach. Their code is to quit on the dot of five. And boy, how they quit. Meet Eddie Savoy, the oldest living government employee. Eddie has been working for his Uncle Sam for more than 70 years. You are now gazing at the nation's capital. You will notice the capital is on a hill. <laughs> for years it was in a rut. The government powerhouse, where they generate hot air for the capital. Talk about coals to Newcastle, hot air for the capital. Are you laughing? Here are eight very patriotic congressmen, all good American lawmakers, who are now doing their part to help their constitution. This is the House of Representatives. In here, congressmen all sit together, but they don't all stand together. Here's one fellow who may not clean up in Washington, but he's taking steps to learn. Congress is in session. They are trying to balance the budget for the taxpayers. It wouldn't be a bad idea for the taxpayers to try and balance some of the congressmen. Here is the Senate side of the Capitol. Ah, here comes a couple of our big brains. Let's hear what they have to say. I disagreed with the president on the matter, so I took it up with the chairman of the Ways and Means Committee. Yes, and what was his opinion? He agreed with me, sir. He said I was absolutely right. We are not eating enough spinach. <laughs> and another big national issue is solved. Well, folks, after looking Washington over, I'm convinced that this country does not need a good five-cent cigar. What the country really needs is more state and fewer politicians.